morning, Whittier. It's Friday, February 23, 2023, and it's time for your weather update. Unfortunately, today's forecast is bringing more rain and more wind. The high for today is 55 degrees with 17 mile an hour winds coming from the southeast this morning. The sun rises at 6.26 a.m. this morning and will set this afternoon at 5.44 p.m. We are expecting rain all day today and tonight with a low of 46 degrees and 19 mile an hour winds from the southeast. Whittier can expect at least 1 to 2 inches of rain today and tonight, so please be cautious on the roads and sidewalks. The heavy rain is expected to continue into the upcoming weekend and continue until the end of next week. Due to the severity of the storm, Whittier area cities are handing out sandbags to residents. Yesterday, Pico Rivera became the latest city to hand out sandbags, with pickup locations at 9633 Beverly Road and at fire stations located at the address listed to my right. Please stay safe and dry, and make sure to plan ahead if you're traveling this weekend. Thank you for tuning in to Whittier 360 News Network for your daily weather update. Good morning, I'm Caroline with Whittier 360 News Network. Today, we have some exciting news about a project aimed at capturing and storing rainwater in Los Angeles County. With a winter storm forecasted to hit LA County later this week, officials say saving more of this water will be key for dealing with drought. On Wednesday, Los Angeles County Supervisor Janice Hahn announced the groundbreaking of the stormwater capture project in South Whittier, which is the county's first project of this kind in unincorporated SD4. The project is an innovative measure W project that is going to capture and store over 6.4 million gallons of safe, clean water per year under Adventure Park. The project is building a 6 million gallon underground storage system that will capture stormwater and divert urban runoff into below ground storage then send it to a nearby sanitary sewer system. Mark Pastrella, the director of Los Angeles County Department of Public Works, explained that the water will be put into the ground, where it will soak before it ends up in the San Gabriel or LA River system, and off to the ocean. The county has been working for decades to capture stormwater, and with projects like this one, it says it will capture 18 billion gallons of water in the next five years, enough for 500,000 people for a year. Pastrella explained that the project would reduce the county's reliance on the Colorado River and Northern California water, which are both not reliable sources of water. In addition to the water storage benefits, the project will provide enhancements to the park with new walking paths, a sports field, and restrooms. Officials feel this will be a win-win as people can enjoy facilities above ground while valuable water will be stored underground. Rainwater is precious. And every time it rains, local residents want to know why we're letting so much of that water run into gutters and out to the ocean. With projects like this one, the county will be able to capture millions more gallons of stormwater, treat it, and use it. The county hopes to capture more stormwater and help conserve water for the future. 